All right, guys, tell us about your mouse deer. First of all, before you do that, why why the mouse deer? No one's ever done mouse deer before, ever. Like, it was cool, because it's like a mini deer, and like we couldn't really decide on an animal. Like, we were deciding between two, so we just all decided that this one's like in the middle. What were the two that you were deciding about, Skylar? You remember? Huh? What were the two that you guys were fighting about, kind of? I wasn't here. Oh, okay. <laughs> what were the two? One was the satanic leaf-tailed gecko. Right. The other one was the kinkajou. I, I don't know. It's, it's a sand. Yeah. Yeah? I don't okay. Know kinkajou. Yeah, that's how you say it. Okay, sweet. Okay, cool. So you picked this one. How'd you guys yeah. even find this one? I just saw a picture of it and, like, we just looked at it a little bit and we thought, it's pretty cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit about it. Well, one thing I could tell you is this um, animal right here is endangered. How come, Skyler? Do you remember? Do you know why? Like, do people eat it? Is it too much hunting? Is over hunting is a big thing? Yeah. Because a lot of the rainforest animals, it's hunting combined with deforestation. Like, they yeah. lose their habitat. It's a little bit of that, but it's mostly hunting. Mostly hunting. Okay. Um, they actually have fangs to help, like, chew food and stuff. Like really long things. That's scary. That hurts. Right there. <laughs> you can't really see it. it. Yeah. Why would they have fangs for chewing? Are you sure it's not for like defense? I think it might be for eating animals, probably. Well, probably I mean, like think of like a warthog. Yeah. You know, they don't. They use their fangs more for defense and digging sometimes yeah. too. But so I don't know if it's gonna help them chew, unless they are. They're not carnivores, are they? Obviously. No. No. Okay. That'd be scary. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Um, like, not a, not a lot's known about, like, their behavior, like, their social behavior and stuff, because they're, like, very solitary and only come out um, at dusk and dawn. Like, they were thought to be nocturnal, but, like, a study showed that they actually weren't. Hmm. Like, they're just, like, in that tiny period. Cool. Skylar, where, where do we, where do they live? Like, what kind of place in the world? Um, well, I know that some, like, I don't know. Two or three mouse deer live in Central Park in New York. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. How'd that happen? <laughs> Picked them up. How'd you know that they lived there? You just found that somewhere? Because there's a um, Central Park Zoo. Yeah. There's a zoo. Well, there's a zoo there. Do they live in the zoo? Yeah, they live oh, in the zoo. Oh, okay. So they're not living they in the actual not park. They're wild. Well, that's what you said. Okay, so they live in the zoo in the park. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. How about you, Wallace? Where do they live? Like, in natural habitat? Um... They live in the understory layer of the forest. Like where in the world? Oh, okay. Like southern Thailand. Indonesia. 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 Malaysia. Enjoy. Those places all sound cool. Can you go show me where they are on the map? Totally. Look at that. Let's get a box there, son. There you go. Okay, so they live in that part. I noticed also on your map you have, it looks like the Congo as well. Yeah, they live like in that little part of Africa. Okay, so they live in the, in the Congo, which is the rainforest in Africa, yeah. and then the Indonesian rainforest. Okay, cool. Anything else you guys thought was really, really neat about them? Um, it always, or it almost always gives birth to only one offspring, but rarely it will have two. What I thought was interesting, whenever the males get angry, they stomp their feet to um, get the girl. Hmm. Is um, that like a dominance type thing? Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Um, the female can actually become pregnant 24 hours after giving birth. So like they can become pregnant like right away. Wow. That's crazy. My sister went in the labor at 12 o'clock last night. That was random, but all right, Grant, that's cool. <laughs> She hasn't had a baby yet? No. It's unfortunate. Thanks for letting us know, Grant. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have special stomachs so they can like regurgitate their food like cows. Except they actually have three chambered stomachs, hmm. not two or four. It's kind of weird. Well, that's cool. I mean, different organisms. We were talking, I don't think it was this. Yeah, it was, yeah, was the sloth. Yeah, the sloth we were talking about the yesterday. Sloth. Yeah. yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> the sloth yesterday we talked about was like that. Anything else? <clears throat> Mouse deer can um, weigh up to um, three, no, nine to thirteen pounds. So they're not very big at all, then. No. I mean, how tall are they? Does it stay on there? Like that tall. Well, that's pretty small. It's uh, twenty-four inches long. Or something. Long. Yeah, like 
like two feet long. So that's only about yeah, that's only about this long. Well, that's the bigger one. The lesser mustard one would be about four feet. Wow, they are really small. You're about right, Skyler. They probably are about that tall. It would be a fun pet. And they actually are for sale. Except for the fangs. Yeah, except for the fangs. That would be so cool. Anything else? Oh, it's the smallest hoofed mammal, actually. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Anybody have any questions about the mouse deer? So, right there in physical description, you say the mouse deer can weigh up to 4.4 pounds, but then right beneath oh. it, you say the greater mouse deer can weigh somewhere between 9 to 13 pounds. I would while say that. The lesser. Well, while the lesser mouse deer can weigh up to 4 There's that order. This is, yeah. That's the end of that there. one. There's no switch so, there's two there. different kinds of mouse deer. There's like a few. There's like the greater, the lesser. There's an aquatic one. The medium. We didn't find anything about that. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Do they have to move drop on that tree? Cool. Uh, oh, yeah. Do they, they have to live in like a certain climate? Just the rainforest, I think. Do you know why they're so small? Um, they haven't evolved in over 30 million years, so they haven't really had like the need to get any bigger. So they just kind of stay their same size. Believe it or not, most hoofed animals were that big at one point. So like, like horses, great example. Horses were about that same size, you know, tens of millions of years ago, and then they've evolved. They needed to, to evolve, yeah. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason. But now they're big enough for us to ride them. Right. Uh, like what kind of, who eats them and like what do they eat? Um, they eat like berries, fallen fruits. They actually eat fungi. So are they, what kind of a consumer are they? Like herbivore? Like, yeah, are they yeah. herbivore? Herbivore. Okay. What, what eats them? Um, river crocodiles will eat them. Snakes? Like snakes, hawks, like the harper eagle. Harpy eagle. Harpy eagle. Harpy eagle. Yeah, it's a jaguar. And you the said people, do they just hunt them for sport or do they eat them? They do. It seems like it'd be kind of little. I think it's probably for their fur. It's for their fur. Oh, so it's kind of like a trapping animal? Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. Okay. Anything else? No? I don't think so. Okay. Give them a hand. Good job, guys. Yay. Yay.